pretty much what came in the mail today was this uh, case slash battery pack for the Hero 9 and 10 Black. Here's my 9 uh, on the chest here. here. I'm going to pretty much unbox it and do a little quick fitting and uh, give you my quick summary of it and that should be it. So this is pretty much what it comes with and the uh, instructions given to install it. All right, so pretty much uh, in, it uh, installs just like the media mod, which I used to have, I returned it. So you would have to remove your side, uh, little side uh, opening uh, cover right here. Obviously, I went with the aftermarket one um, so I can charge it while riding. But I wanted something more compact, so which came to this. So I wanted to something more compact and didn't have to use a battery pack, which was fine. But if I'm like, you know, riding bike or something, um, it's kind of hard to have the cord dangling while I'm riding my bike or doing things. So I wanted to go with this. Uh, I'm not gonna weigh it. Uh, it pretty much weighs, I don't know how much, but it weighs almost as a GoPro does. So it's like having two GoPros maybe, maybe a little more. Um, either way, the weight is not a part of the issue for me. It's just the battery life. Um, you saw earlier, I have the original blue battery. Um, I know they came out with a gray one that's a little more extended or something, but I'm totally fine with using this blue one with the battery pack right here. Um, and uh, I'm gonna basically set it right here and that should be it. I do notice it sits much higher. I'm not sure if that's gonna affect if I were to, you know, uh, my weight distribution, if I were to either be biking or running or something and uh, anything like that but the chesty right here is actually pretty good uh, didn't really um, plan on getting any of these chesty I got the magnet um, whatever it's called the magnet ones that they sell for about 40 bucks or something I thought that would satisfy me but I ended up buying this for like about 40 bucks so um, I like how it's you know it's a solid piece it doesn't move as much it only moves because it clips on right here and obviously the the tug as soon as you cinch it down it'll kind of stabilize it um, my setups were simple so this is the little dead cat to block out the wind that's the up, updated lens and uh, yeah like I said um, the chest is pretty good uh, it feels a little choking on on like hard efforts or when I'm like gonna die and I need air it feels like it's hard to get air because it's like kind of it's kind of like compressing which is fine with me because um i have a lot of camelback products that i use and i pretty much trust the brand and the quality so i have bottles bags and now i have this so pretty much um i'm totally fine with camelback products i didn't want to get the gopro one because it I feel like it wouldn't have satisfied my my use and plus I get a little protection so uh, that's always good and yeah so look out for let's see it's like rubber buttons kind of like the media mod I don't think this is a GoPro product actually like an actual genuine GoPro product uh, the brand is DigiPower so it might be a little aftermarket. I know people complain about the heat it creates or that these may create. I'm aware of that uh, because it's hot and I work in the hot elements. So even my phone gets hot and it shuts down. So this is something I'll be cautious of. And uh, I don't have the lights with me, but if I do make another video with this mod on my bike, um, I might put it on the rear and use my media light as a tail light with the red filter something like that so uh, that way everything's kind of compact and uh, I kind of like how it has these um, what they're called shoes or something like that um, so that way it can uh, 
you can install like you know lights or whatever whatnot you know and um i'm totally fine with this one and yeah this is my first impression summary of it i think there's some things i'm missing uh i just pretty pretty much got this and wanted to kind of do an install to kind of get the ball rolling on this thing because i I've been uh, anticipating this setup actually so it might be old to or unnecessary to some but to me it's actually good you know going i imagine uh, you know i have cyc cyclic cameras that i use and they weigh about like this much with the light uh, the quality won't be as good as a gopro uh, i'm running a 400 gigabyte sd micro sd so uh don't know if people say what the maximum is for this gopro but it works for me and yeah like i said it's pretty good can't wait to try it out